I'm Diana DeRosa, and I am speaking to Jamie Valanza, and she lives in New Jersey, not very far from me. And she is the creator, director, and co-host of the docu-series, Wild Lands, Wild Horses. So you all know what that's about. So welcome, Jamie. Why did you decide to do this project? Oh, well, thank you, first of all, for having me. Um, wild horses are very dear to my heart. I've been photographing them for about five years. And I just wanted to find a way to do more and get them a bigger audience. And what better way to do that is a TV show. Absolutely. Great job. Yeah. Thank you. So now that you're looking back at everything that you did, I mean, you brought in your skill of photography and other, so many other things. Uh, what are you most proud of? Just completing the production. I don't think people realize how intense and how much goes into it. Um, it takes months and months and months, even years of planning and then actually filming it. And then the post process is just as tedious. So just the fact that we finished it, we wrapped a little bow on it and now we're presenting it to people. And it's just such a proud moment for me. This is my first long form video. So it's just something I'm very proud of. Fabulous. I'd like you to walk us through some of the things that happened while you were out there. I know, I know that we saw a lot, but I'm sure there's some things that weren't, weren't mentioned. So tell us about some of those. So there's so many things that go on um, while you're filming wild horses. And in this particular episode, we filmed Twin Peaks, which is in Northern California, over 800,000 acres of land. So it's really, really difficult to find them. Um, but when you do, it's such a blessing because this is a herd that's not very well documented. So the fact that we got any footage is crazy. Um, but there were a lot, I think we took a very serious subject and tried to make it fun and enlightening and positive. Um, so we had a lot of fun moments. There's tons of bloopers. You can always see the bloopers on our YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, just finding the horses and just seeing them is always the best part. Um, and I think even the people on opposing sides surprised us. They're, they're truly nice people. And I think the fact that they were willing to sit down and have a conversation with us and it, it, it just spoke to their character. So we're very grateful for everyone who sat down and talked to us. But there's so much more, I can go on for hours. <laughs> You know, I think that's one of the things that Lisa and I learned um, and often encouraged, and that was that, you know, there's so many different sides that there's no one answer, and what it needs is everybody to come to the table and see what we can do to solve exactly. the problem. It's, it's a problem, and we have to try to solve it the best way yeah. that we can. Well, I want to thank you for joining me. If people want to know more about you and your projects and what you're doing, how would they do that? And do you have any last words you'd like to say before? Sure. Um, if you'd like to learn more about the project, you can go to wildlandswildhorses.com or you can reach out to us on Instagram at the handle This Mustang Life. Um, and I just, I really encourage everyone to watch it, to learn a little bit more about America's Wild Mustangs. And if anyone ever wants to adopt or know how they can help, please reach out and I will guide you in any way possible. Well, Jamie, well done. Great topic. Great to me that you introduced it to everybody. I think it's an important subject. So thank you so much for being part of the Equus Film thank and Arts Thank you for Arts having Fest. me.